You're watching Telecom TV from the 2018 Tips Summit in London. And I'm joined now by Rui Frazau, EVP of European Operations at Beyond. Rui, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Beyond develops AI-based network automation software for telcos. Tell me more about the startup and how you use an open platform to deliver your solution. Yeah, Beyond is a roughly one-year-old uh, startup uh, based out of California. Um, our founding members come from a, uh, a number of businesses uh, that we have in the US uh, with the telecom operators. Uh, we've learned about uh, and we've been contributing to their uh, um, to the rollout of the, the networks over the last few years, provided uh, some of the services. Uh, and uh, we've had to adopt or we decided to adopt some of automation tools ourselves to help us do our work. And then we figured out that probably this was the time, there's a number of technologies out there for us to come and, build and start a company that would build a new way of automating and approaching the, the networks. So we decided to start Beyond, which is a AI machine learning uh, um, type of uh, software company. We're using those uh, tools to help uh, the, the operators automate their networks towards 5G and edge computing. So why did you choose to become a member of TIP? Uh, we believe that uh, TIP is very focused on uh, helping the, the telecom industry finding uh, solutions for today's problems. Um, and uh, it, this is all about creating a, a new technology to help the operators to roll out faster uh, their infrastructure, provide uh, faster and cheaper connectivity. Uh, and we also believe that uh, automation plays a key role. Uh, so we thought that this was the right forum for us to join and uh, contribute and uh, see how we can help the, the industry move forward. You're really one of, if not the only, software company here at a hardware show. That's an interesting one. We just uh, found out uh, we are proudly a software company. We believe that uh, more and more uh, the, the network infrastructure is going to be about software. Uh, but we were surprised that uh, we're not seeing as many companies as us yet coming out and uh, uh, joining this event. So it's an interesting fact. Are there any specific issues of AI applied to telecoms networks? Well, I think, uh, so um, for me, AI is a tool. So you have, uh, and there's been developments and uh, several AI frameworks which have been popular. Uh, and it's a tool that you need to apply properly to uh, what the problem you're trying to solve. Um, um, I think it's, it's more about the uh, willingness to adopt these new tools uh, that, that probably delayed uh, AI um, adoption in the, in the telecom, uh, uh, telecom space uh, rather than other industries. Um, so what you need is you need an understanding of uh, what are the telecom uh, challenges and what problems you want to solve uh, to be able to choose the right uh, AI approach. You need to understand what are the data uh, that you need as an input uh, to, to start uh, addressing those problems. And you need also to understand what's the outcome that you expect. So applying a tool without that knowledge uh, might bring you nothing or something, but you don't know. So you actually need the combination of uh, the knowledge about what the tools can bring you, what uh, data you need uh, for those tools to be uh, useful, and what is the problem they're trying to solve and what's the right outcome. Now we've been talking AI for 5G, but is there also a case of 5G for AI, where AI becomes one of the most prevalent and important apps for 5G services? Yeah, I think that, that's a good uh, viewpoint. Um, the, uh, so 5G uh, is bringing the opportunity of, uh, of uh, t having more um, different types of connectivity uh, in the network. Until now, uh, we've been talking about consumer type of services, a few enterprise services, but it's usually with a human behind it. And when you look at uh, 5G and the promise of uh, bringing network slices focused on uh, uh, machine communication, so IoT, uh, there's a there are a lot more elements that you need to cope with. So uh, you've mentioned before, some of the other industries are already using AI. So once you're bringing those industries into the, the 5G connectivity world, they will for surely bring AI with, with them. So AI is going to be a uh, key element of uh, how to provide uh, better services uh, through the 5G connectivity. Rui, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you.